Welcome to this Excel tutorial where we'll guide you through a simple yet powerful technique to streamline your workflow. Today, we'll show you how to disable the pesky save as prompt using a VBA macro, so you can save time and clicks. We've all been there, working efficiently in Excel, only to be interrupted by the save as prompt every time you close a workbook. It's a minor annoyance, but one that can add up over time. To start, we need to access the VBA environment. This is where all our macros will be written. You can do this by going to the Developer tab and selecting Visual Basic, or by using the shortcut Alt plus F11. To create a new module, look for the Insert menu in the VBA Editor's toolbar. Click on Insert, and then select Module from the drop-down list. A new window will open, displaying a blank code area. We'll write a VBA code that tells Excel to skip the Save as prompt by setting the workbook's saved property to true. After writing your macro, save it by clicking File, and then click Save in the VBA editor. This step is crucial to ensure your macro is stored with your workbook. Once you've saved your module, you can close the VBA editor by clicking the X in the top right corner or by going to File, and then click Close and return to Excel. To run your macro, you can use the shortcut key you assigned. Go to the Developer tab and click on Macros, select your macro, and click Run. After running the macro, try closing your workbook to see if the Save as prompt appears. If your macro worked correctly, you should no longer see the prompt under the conditions specified in your code. If you prefer to save only when there are unsaved changes, we have a variation of the macro that checks the saved status before proceeding to save the workbook silently. Congratulations! You've learned how to disable the save as prompt in Excel, a valuable skill for any power user looking to save time and clicks. Choose the macro that fits your workflow best. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, or if you'd like more Excel tips and tricks, don't hesitate to ask. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.